Okay, so you've got a new project, Pivotal Tracker, and we're going to go through the steps of getting it started for uh, the way we work and getting it all configured. So the first thing you want to do is go up to my profile, and when it loads, go ahead and make sure all the information up here is correct. So uh, I'm not going to fill in a username. I like to keep using my email as my login. But under my name, I'd like to have my full name and the initials. Uh, the reason initials are asked is that they will be put on each ticket to identify the person that's working on it. So it's just a little shorter than having a name on there. Uh, start page, I have no problem leaving it on the dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and check the correct time zone for me. Uh, for receive comment emails, you want it to be for all stories. That way you'll have the full picture of what's being done on. You also want new story emails. You want story delivered and accepted. You also want story rejected. Uh, if you want, if you feel like you uh, need some help with the new UI, you can go ahead and check show hints. Probably going to check that one too. Uh, go ahead and save. Okay, so my profile was successfully changed. So I'm going to go back over here to projects and back over to learning. So that was the global settings for uh, Pivotal Tracker, which you can see have already been affected here. And here's one of the hints popping up. Before we go ahead and get started adding tickets, uh, there's another couple settings we need to do. Under View, go down and check Include Current in Backlog. That'll make the UI a little bit cleaner and makes it make a little bit more sense once we get started working with tickets. Also, you want to go under View and then down to uh, Project Settings. When that comes up, you want to go down here and check Use HTTPS. Uh, that's just a little bit nicer, keeps things a little bit safer, and there's really not too much of a performance hit uh, on the speed of the page loading. Also, go down here and click Enable Tasks. That way, uh, a lot more detail can be added to tickets because we'll be able to add subtasks for each story. Go ahead and click Save. And there you go. So you can go back up here to the left, Projects, and back to our project, which is called Learning. And there we go. So, well, and there we go. So that's all you need to know about getting started with Pivotal Tracker.